Some of you, many of you might be asking, what else can help set this rhythm? Well, it turns out that light is what we call the primary zeitgeber, the pr time giver. But other things can help establish this rhythm of cortisol followed by melatonin 12 to 16 hours later as well. The other things besides light are timing of food intake, timing of exercise, as well as various drugs or chemicals that one might ingest. Not illegal drugs, although those will impact circadian mechanisms as well. But the reason we focus so heavily on light is that light is the main way that the central clock, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, was supposed to be set. We know that because it's the only direct input to the clock. Those cells are the main way and the only direct way to set the clock. In fact, it's fair to say that light viewed by these melanopsin cells, particular sunlight, is a thousand to 10,000 times more effective than say, getting up in darkness and just exercising.